doubt, or belief. The story that spreads around the world. Hi, I'm Julia. Today I'm going to talk about the universe. It is thought that the universe began at a very small point, 13.8 billion years ago, and is still expanding at an accelerating rate. Observations have shown that the speed of expansion of the universe has exceeded the speed of light, which is the upper limit of the speed of matter in the universe. The speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers per second, so if you traveled at the speed of light, you could circumnavigate the Earth approximately seven and a half times in one second, but it is surprising to hear that the universe is continuing to expand beyond the speed of light. The size of the universe at the moment of its birth was incredibly small, it was the size of one centimeter made into one trillionth of a centimeter, which was then made into one trillionth of a trillionth, which was then made into ten billionths of a trillionth of a trillionth. This tiny universe expanded, and now the sun, the moon, and the earth we live on are in the universe. How much do you know about the earth? There are many theories, but humans have grown and explored the earth over time. And while we know about 85% of the Earth, it is said that only 15% of the Earth's seabed is known. The size of the Earth is about 12,742 kilometers in diameter, and the distance around the Earth is said to be about 40,000 kilometers. If you drive a car at 100 kilometers without stopping, you could go round the Earth in about 17 days. When you hear that you can go round the Earth in 17 days, it sounds easy, doesn't it? But, if you listen to the story about the size of the universe after this, you will feel that the Earth is incredibly small. Have you ever imagined how big the universe is? The Moon is about 384,400 kilometers away from the Earth. If you drive a car at 100 kilometers without stopping, you can reach the Moon in about half a year. If you go to the Moon at the speed of light, it seems you can get there in 1.3 seconds. I would like to ride on light at least once. The farthest man-made object mankind has flown into space is Voyager 1, this picture, called the pale blue dot, was taken by Voyager 1 in 1990 from about 6 billion kilometers away from Earth. This picture might make you think that space is a big place, but this is where our adventure into space begins. We live in the solar system, but the sun is about 149.6 million kilometers away from the Earth. Traveling by light, it takes about 8 minutes to reach the sun. This sun is one of 200 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. The size of this galaxy is approximately 105,000 light years in diameter, and it would take 100,000 years to travel at the speed of light, which is said to be the fastest speed in the world. It would take 93 billion years to travel by plane. In the big picture, the galaxy is incredibly big and the sun is here. However, the universe is still very large. Outside the galaxy there are local galaxy groups. The local group of galaxies consists of more than 50 to 60 galaxies of various sizes, including the Milky Way. So we are in the Milky Way galaxy. I have heard of this Andromeda galaxy somewhere else. Outside this cluster of galaxies is the even more massive Virgo supercluster of galaxies. The Virgo supercluster is about 200 million light years in diameter, and there are more than 100 galaxy groups and clusters of galaxies centered on the Virgo cluster. Our local galaxy group belongs to the Virgo supercluster, but these groups and clusters of galaxies are moving in a certain direction and converging as if they are attracted to something. This something is a mysterious gravitational source called the Great Attractor, which is said to be the most powerful force in the universe. This something is still unknown, but in September 2014, astronomer Brent Tully and his team at the University of Hawaii announced that it is attracted to the Lania Chaos Supercluster, which is even larger than the Virgo Supercluster. This Lania Chaos Supercluster is said to be about 500 million light years in diameter. Conversely, there are regions of the universe known as super cavities, where there are almost no galaxies. It is said that the universe was created by the Big Bang, and that there are temperature differences between different places in the universe, which created large-scale voids. On September 4, 2007, a void with a diameter of about 1 billion light-years was found, although it is located between 6 and 10 billion light-years away from the Earth. It's scary that if you traveled at the speed of light, there would be nothing for a billion years. Even if you have eternal life in your hands, it would be terrible to enter this space. 
In fact, the universe is even bigger. The diameter of space is said to be 93 billion light years in the observable region. This is the area that can be observed, which means that the universe may actually be much bigger. Do you all know the great quote by astronomer Carl Sagan when he saw a picture of the pale blue dot? From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here, that's home, that's us. On it everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals. Every corrupt politician, every a superstar, every a supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that, in glory and triumph, they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner, how frequent their misunderstandings, how eager they are to kill one another, how fervent their hatreds. Our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit, yes. Settle, not yet. Like it or not, for the moment the Earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another, and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. It's so magnificent that it feels like our whole life, born on the tiny planet Earth in the vast universe, is completed in one dot. I hope that the world will come to a point where we can make use of the good things that each of us has and share them with others, rather than taking what others and other countries have and making it our own or our countries. For some reason, when I think about the scale of things, I feel like my everyday problems don't matter. What do you all think? I am looking forward to your comments. And please like and subscribe my channel, it makes me happy and gives me energy to make the next video. Thank you for watching.